what is going on ladies and gentlemen we are back again with another 90 day fiance video and this one right here is all about mohammed and eve but before we get into it let's start off by giving a big massive shout out to every single person that is a member of the channel that is a member of patreon and that is a subscriber as we continue to grow now i must say please proceed with caution i'm about to play you an audio clip of mohammed and eve having an argument now some of the tones used may Come across some of the tones you may trigger you if you have a history of potentially being in a relationship that was toxic and not necessarily pleasant so please proceed with caution with that being said let's listen to the audio but i need help so what is your problem i don't but know my problem is i need help with what Or in the audio, so shall I say, we definitely hear some back and forth going on. Obviously, Mohammed in fine form kept his, his his calm demeanor as he did throughout the TV show. To be fair, we know that when it comes to Mohammed raising his voice, that's not really one of his things. But Eve definitely let loose. It's crazy though because I kept asking throughout the season, why is Eve single? She's a beautiful woman, and I don't understand. A lot of people said it's because she's got a kid. But to be honest with you, I know plenty of people that go in relationships with people with children, so that was never it. And then. As you listen to the as you listen to the audio, you start to hear aggression, a tone, frustration. I'm thinking, raw, maybe this is why she's single, because she has a lot of energy behind herself. Now, of course, right now we know that there's indication of abusive also of domestic violence charges against Eve. Now, at the end of the day, is this clip proof to say that she has been abusive to Mohammed? I mean, look at it this way. In the clip, Mohammed did say, Don't touch me. And he did say, you know, if you touch me, then there'll be a problem. Whatever he meant by then, what, what he meant by that, who knows? But at the same time, that it also felt like as if Eve was coming from a place of frustration that Mohammed had not been pulling his weight. 
she did express multiple times that she had been working over the last two years looking after after him as well as the kid as, as well as her kid and also the, the house obviously Mohammed did say that i would help you do certain things but eve also made it abundantly clear that Mohammed had been prioritizing his friends over obviously being at home so to be honest with you there is a chance a possible chance that in this clip of this audio where we hear eve absolutely pissed off and expressing her expression expression her exp Expressing her expressions, yes, that's the word. <laughs> um, it could have just literally been because Mohammed had pushed her over the edge, and she finally had that breakthrough, that breakout moment over his head that literally meant, which 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 could literally mean nothing compared to, I mean, which could literally mean nothing based on the allegations against her. Because at the end of the day, there's a lot of people in this world that are in relationship with people, whether that be a, a relationship, is in a love relationship, or just a friendship, where somebody takes so much, somebody takes advantage of you. That eventually they end up absolutely losing their plot. Now, at the same time, we can also say that Mohammed sort of purposely planned to frustrate Eve because he knows what buttons to push, just so he had the ability to actually record her and therefore use as evidence in his favor. Because of course, there is a speculation that Mohammed and the young lady in question that he's been having an affair with may have actually planned this whole situation so he was able to leave Eve and still apply for a U visa with the other lady. So really in truth, there's a lot of question marks around the audio but at the same time there's a lot of clarity, clarity to say that yes Eve has been Eve has been verbally uh, aggressive within her tone within her frustrations but again the last this this is more of a frustrated one and also slightly a bit more of a provoked situation because otherwise you know the fact that Mohammed was ready to record the first thing that I want to know is what gave him that idea idea could have come from the other lady that that is that part at the end of the day in life there's people that know how to push people's buttons and this literally could have been applied to just push Eve's button on purpose a purpose recorder but again end of the day i'm not taken away from the fact that yes eve was very aggressive she definitely shouldn't have been putting her hands near him but clearly when he said don't put your hands near me she obviously abided by his request and no longer wanted to put her hands on him anyway so that does show signs of restraint from eve and it does show signs that you know that there's a chance that she has not been physically violent towards Mohammed. And to be honest with you, even though she was frustrating, even though she was swearing here and there, I never necessarily heard her actually call him any insulting names. So to be fair, I think that's also a plus on her side, the fact that she was just more screaming and shouting and swearing at the situation that was happening and not necessarily calling him this or calling him that. Yes, yeah, she may have put his hands on it, but again, we didn't see the audio on that. It could have been a case of where maybe he was in the way while she was trying to do whatever she was going to do. So maybe she gave him a little shove, shove, shove to the side. You never really know, no, until you get accurate bit of footage. But like I said before, based on what we have here, it is still a massive question mark if this video or if this clip, shall I say, this audio clip was something that was pre-planned by Mohammed to purposely get Eve on the tape purely so he can use it against her in a future situation. For example, it being leaked online is a future situation, isn't it really truly? But nonetheless, though, let me know what you're thinking. I'm just trying to play devil's advocate on both sides. I don't want to make the video on saying that, oh my God, Eve did this, Eve did that, because there are so many elements to look at on both sides of Eve and Mohammed's situation. Yes, Eve was definitely um, aggressive when she shouldn't have never been, but at the same time, was Mohammed doing it on purpose so he can get her, um, so he can obviously record her based on the other allegations around the fact that he may be doing these things on purpose to get rid of Eve, but to still be able to get that visa once. Nonetheless, though, you guys let me know what you're thinking in the comment section and we'll talk about it. Don't forget to like, subscribe and peace.